Good afternoon, everybody. This is NCP. I'd like to talk to you about why I think you need an offline disaster AI, preferably on a Raspberry Pi. One thing I'm, I, let me start with some preferences here, a preference. I had ChatGBT help me with this to install it, and you're going to see text in the background where it's things you're installing, and all these directions can be found at preppersvoice.com <clears throat> but it'll be individual to you I, I had a lot of trouble installing this because I don't do coding I don't know it it's not my forte so I got on ChatGPT and I asked how do I install a offline uncensored AI for disaster scenarios and they'll walk me through it and that's what you're seeing on screen the commands and all the stuff and you do it I said I wanted a uh, a desktop icon. I don't want to do uh, command lines to install this or, or to use it. I can because I have that. It told me how to do it. I said, I just want you to do it for me and tell me what to do. And anytime I ran into a problem, like, oh, you don't have this library? And I said, hey, I don't have this library. And ChatGPT says, enter this command to get these libraries to install it. So you know, walk me through any errors and problems I had. And that's what you'll, you'll have to do. So this isn't really an instructional video, even though you can see me doing it in the background here. But, you know, figure it out. Let's, let's, let's figure it out, okay? Uh, that'll help you. Okay, so let's be in the video. When the grid goes down, the internet goes dark, and help is days or weeks away, what will you rely on for your critical survival information? In today's video, I'm going to show you why every prepper should have an offline disaster AI running on a Raspberry Pi. Let's talk about slow power, no internet, high value survival intelligence. So let's, let's get into it. In a real world disaster, whether it's a hurricane, EMP, coronal mass discharge, civil unrest, or a grid down scenario, you're not going to have Google, you're not going to have ChatGPT, you won't have YouTube, because my, my channel's awesome. <laughs> uh, you won't have medical access to medical advice, you won't have your DYI fixes, you won't have all the how-to survival guides, and that's, that's going to be a problem. But what if you had your own AI assistant, completely offline, and ready to answer survival questions on demand? I give you the Raspberry Pi with an offline AI model. It's small, powerful, and runs entirely without internet access. Let's talk about the Raspberry Pi. It uses around 10 watts max, maybe a little more when you're in AI because you're pushing things. But basically that means you can run it all off a small solar network, a power bank for hours, no power, no problem. Uh, a, a 20 milliamp hour battery bank will keep this thing running all day and then some. Um, the DeWalt uh, battery inverter I showed in the last video, oh that's excellent, that's kind of my plan. To just have this thing and just like click it on there and it'll run everything the the low power monitor now there are monitors you can buy that go on these things on raspberry pi that's just a whole thing and it's small but it's the whole thing everything you need in one compact compact unit so you you could do that but with an offline ai it can help you with real life life-saving answers like how do i purify water with basic supplies what foods are safe to eat after a power outage? How can I build an emergency shelter with what's laying around? How can I identify symptoms of dehydration or infection? And then you could ask other things like what to do if someone's in shock or bleeding or burned or, or whatever. If you don't have this, the books already, you know. It doesn't guess. They're usually trained on real knowledge and it doesn't need the cloud. Your knowledge base is right at your fingertips. For example, let me, let me switch to my Raspberry Pi with my screen recorder. And let me type in a, a simple scenario. Let me load it start to finish, execute it, execute the program, and let it run. And then I'll ask, how do I purify dirty river water? And this is what we got. All right, so... Let's, let's go ahead and give you a real life example here of using it. As you can see here, uh, there's no internet connection, right? 
So we're going to go ahead and run the disaster bot or whatever we're calling it. I'm just calling it that for right now. And yeah, I just chose an icon. And I'll execute or execute in terminal. It doesn't matter. This is the full load on. You can see up here that we're at the, the, the resources are 17% as it loads, but it's going to go up. And this is the temperature over here. So their temperature and what percentage your CPU you're using. So now it's all loaded. And again, you can see up here we're offline, no, no network connection, completely offline. You say something like, how uh, do I purify um, dirty river water? Right? How do I purify dirty? Now this is going to go slow because it's not, you know, it's not chat GBT, but it is offline, completely offline. So if there's a disaster and there's no internet or whatever, this can be run off one of the DeWalt inverter I showed in the other video. And even the monitors, some do USB. So if we go ahead and hit it, you'll, you'll notice that the, uh, the cores start kicking up almost hundred percent power. And you can see it, it starts telling you how to do it. And it, it's slow, but you're setting around disaster. You got nothing better to do anyway. So, you know, you could ask it, how do I treat a burn? Um, other things, you know, how do I, how do I start a fire with what materials I have on hand? Or how do I build a shelter with what's laying around? You know, endless inventory. Now you can hear the fan on the Raspberry Pi just kicked on. Maybe you hear that. We're at 67, 68, 69 degrees Celsius. It might get up to about 80, <clears throat> in which case I would just slow down my questions. But it does give you the information you need. And if it's not available, you know, now you have access to it. Because knowledge doesn't, isn't really a burden uh, weight-wise. So I'll let this play out and I'll get back to the other video. But... If this doesn't exactly sync up, it's kind of, I'm, I'm, I, I don't have a voice recorder on the Raspberry Pi. I got a screen recorder, but not a voice recorder. So I'll, I'll sync this up as best as I can. But it talks about disinfecting water. Because let's say I would like forget <clears throat> uh, how many drops of, of whatever bleach is. Let's say I got, oh, let's say I got pool bleach, right? And it's, it's 10%. I think regular uh, bleach is like, four point something two five I don't know but I could ask it <clears throat> how many drops do I need in a five gallon bucket of 10% bleach you know for example or sodium hydrobuclate or whatever it is I don't know how to pronounce it whatever it is how much do I need and I could use other test strips to test it but I could say how much is it and they'll say okay well it's this much all right and then I'll say like how do I neutralize the chlorine because there's already chlorine from the uh, spa. And I don't use bromine, I use chlorine. You should never mix the two, ever. So don't take chlorine from your, don't take bromine water from your spa and add chlorine to it. It'll, it'll turn out very poorly. It, 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 it creates some type of gas. I forget what, but it'll hurt you, so don't. But, <clears throat> but I could say, okay, I got five gallons of water. I use 10% chlorine in it to, uh, to fix it or bleach. And it's all purified, it's clear, it looks good. Hey, it's great. Then I say, well, how much vitamin C do I need to neutralize that chlorine? And it might say, you need this much. So if I put like a, a thousand milligram pill in five gallons of water, for me personally, that would be safe. Uh, you, you know, you guys might have other issues. Or you might say, what, what food uh, is, is safe to eat after a power outage? You know, and how long it's been out? Or th this, this meat's been out for so many hours and it's... Uh, this temperature outside, this is what it's been exposed to, assuming you know the temperature, it can say, look man, don't eat that, it's not good. It's got a high risk of you know, bacteria or something. So I, I find this a very, very tool to have, very important tool to have, and I, I really think everybody should have some, <clears throat> at least some type of offline AI. I mean, you should obviously do your work before, you know, and, and write your notes down, but if you don't have it, here it is. There's a. I got the 8 gig Pi here. I'm gonna probably buy the 16. I'm probably gonna buy the Halo module. I think it's called the Halo. 
it goes on top a little hat on there or a little circuit board it plugs into which lets it do faster but this is what I got now and this is the base model so yeah and so now it's done after all that information it, the cores dropped down to four five percent 65 degrees is where we're at uh, Celsius so there we go guys that's that's pretty much it so let me get back to the other video since I had to cut away to do this on on the Raspberry Pi and my other computer so enough of the voiceover all right let's get back to the other one okay let's continue so unlike other assistants this AI is uncensored and under your control no filters no ads no internet or network connection needed it's like carrying a survival library that talks back and won't judge you for asking the hard questions when seconds count and the internet's gone, an offline AI might be the best tool in your bug out bag. It's not just about being high tech, it's about being ready. If you want to build one for yourself, check out the links in the description. I'll show you how to set it up, what models I used, and how to run it off grid. This is North Carolina Prepper from the Prepper's Voice. Stay safe, stay smart, and keep prepping. And please, like and subscribe this video and share it with other people who need a survival edge. Let's take prepping to the next level and be prepared for whatever comes. Have a good one everybody. NCP out.